looking at the draw, Adriana de Souza. He's a guy that's won the Margaret River Pro in the past. He's coming up in the first heat this morning. That's a tough one too. Yaga Dora and Kanao Igarashi. I mean, it's uh, the goofy footers have been putting on a good show, but generally really tough uh, to, to combat those natural footers, getting those big long barrels. So it is a technical tube. It's hard to sort of get in it and get out at the same time. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Jack Robinson, one of the guys that can just find the best waves, and he does it with ease. Here we go, live action. Kanao Egarashi has a look at, at an insider there. Yeah, it was uh, very neat to see. Again, found a wave that was a barrel on the outside section all the way through, gets spit out, and then just does this kick stall into the end section, got barreled again. I mean, that is the epitome, and then actually went for the air. Really kind of just flat water, and with that, the, the surfers are trying to find position. As you can see right here, there's a little wave coming in. Nice little nugget. Let's see if Igarashi can find something on that. He decides to kick out, but with those lulls, you find yourself, you know, out of position because of the current. A lot of respect given to this man who's broken through for big wins all around the world, including here in Western Australia. Adriano de Souza up in the barrel. Now that was uh, one of those barrels that it broke quite high on the face of the wave, and even Adriano de Souza at five foot six inches can't get compact enough to, to squeeze his way through that one. Although we've got making a move on the inside. De Souza keeps busy. Understands that he can get himself a bit of a lead. Still think uh, at times these guys should just attack those end sections. Right? One move, you know, get uh, get yourself a 3-5 or a 4. Could end up being a backup score. What it says to me, though, about Kanoa is when his back's against the wall, he produces. He loves that extra pressure. And he's looking to produce now some kind of number that will put him out in front. Six and a half minutes to go. Looks to set up this inside. Nice little tunnel. Gets some cover. Can he bust through that curtain in the white water for a moment but loses it? Yeah, he doesn't need much. Just a point nine seven. He might have got enough vision on the inside to, to get himself into the lead. Here we go. Yago on the outside committing to this one. He's going to pull the trigger. Only needs a 1.64. He's going to go to turns. Nice little hook off the top. This wave's starting to shut down, though. And he has waited a long time, 32 minutes for his first ride. He only needs a 1.64. Was there enough in that turn? He likes the look of it down the line. One minute, 35 seconds to go. He needs nothing to get himself into the lead here. Just a 0.65. Looks to set up the barrel. Gets a lot of speed. He'll find the exit. Now out onto the open face. Grabs that rail. Cuts back down into the bowl. And rides on out. So this will be the best wave of the heat so far. Um, you know, they haven't been really fetching big numbers. Whereas Adriano gets a full disappearing act here. He's behind this one. He disappears. Not very long in the barrel, but he was gone from view. He gets a maneuver done as well. And now it's over. So you'd have to say just by watching this exchange that Adriano's going to get the win. Igarashi's going to get an opportunity. And he sets this one up. Grabs the wall that way. Finds a little bit of cover, but not a lot. Nice hook off the top there. But in this first round, you need to get yourself the win. Yago Dora out the back, you paddle for that one. It's not gonna matter, there's no one else in the lineup with him. Take a look first at Kanoa. You know, I think he felt like this wave was gonna run pretty quickly, you know, and he'd had that earlier wave that shut down on him. So he really kind of missed the opportunity for the first section of the barrel. Gets a maneuver done. Adriano is going to be victorious for the first time in the first round this year. He gets a four-point ride. He's moving through to round three. More action from round one coming your way in just a moment with Joe Zappel and Martin Potter stepping into the call.